What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Today, you can already tell we were in Gary's Mod. If you've never heard of Gary's Mod, it's basically a game that's just meant to have mods. It would be literally nothing without mods. And we're going to be going over the tutorial of the 2015 Doctor Who TARDIS. So if you haven't seen the 2015 Doctor Who TARDIS, I'm going to be putting that down in the description below, as well as the 2015 Sonic Screwdriver. And we're going to go, without further ado, straight into this video. Okay guys, so the first thing you want to do is pull out your sonic screwdriver. I'm just going to get this right out here. Let's see, 2015. There we go. Okay, so to lock the TARDIS, you want to do the left mouse button. You just want to hold it down, and at the bottom left, it'll say lock, TARDIS locked. And then hold it down again to unlock. And when it's locked, you know, you can't get it. We'll just say TARDIS is locked. Unlock it, and then now, if you hold the right mouse button, it'll actually turn the TARDIS visible. Now, it is still there, though, if you run up to it. You can still, it's still something in your way, like that. Okay, so now to link the TARDIS, which is really useful, um, you just want to hold, I'm pretty sure it's Alt, and hold the left mouse button, and it'll say linked. And then, you can walk around however far you want, and then, like, let's say you come over here, and you push R, that'll actually start dis disappearing and it'll start coming over you pushed R on your keyboard. And there we go, it's right back over here. You can do everything you did before with it. So let's get right back over here real quick. Let's put down another one. Now it's all you can basically do with the soccer screwdriver, so we're gonna go straight in. There it is guys. Can't even say how amazing this is. I mean, look at this. It's just crazy. Okay, so you want to come up straight front, straight into this first little console piece here. So you want to come to this level right here, and you push E, and that's actually the flight mode. These will start going around, and then to go onto the screen, you don't actually have to go to, to a specific area. I just like to go to here, but it's anywhere you want, and you can actually start flying just like this. Now, if you want to go faster, you can hold Shift. And that makes you go a lot faster. Okay, so let's land here. So um, the right mouse button, if you click it, it'll turn you invisible. Click again, just like the sound subscriber. You just have to. You don't have to hold it though. Just click it once, and it turns back to normal. So if you want to teleport somewhere, you just put the left left mouse button wherever you want, really want to, and it'll start teleporting there. Even if you go all the way over here, it's still gonna teleport back to that same spot. It will still be in flight mode as well. Okay, so to the this let's see this lever right here, if you pull this while in flight mode, it'll actually stop it from moving. So I'm trying to move. It's called the physical lock. So you can't move. Even if you're like Alright, let's get this. And even if you're sideways and then you pull this, you're gonna be tilted that way until you pull again. So let's land right over here into this. And then to land, all you have to do is click this again. You kind of roll in where you land. <laughs> yeah, like I'm sideways. Um, you just kind of fall. And you can still turn yourself invisible and click you without flight mode. Okay, so the next thing that we have is right here, which will turn you invisible. So you want to click that. And you're actually invisible. Now if you still go outside, um, yeah, I'll just say side. But um, if you go outside, you can still feel that's in your way. Now, if you don't want to, if you want to go to the time vortex, which is you're basically just gone. Like, you know, if someone, like, walks straight over there, they'll just go straight through you. You're basically just gone. So you want to do this. So first of all, you want to go into, pull the Q, go into options, and then find 2015 TARDIS. And you want to make sure that right here it says advanced mode has a check on it. Because I'm going to be showing all the advanced mode tutorials. So, push E right here. It'll say vortex flight mode activated. You want to go over to this one. It has to be exactly in order. If you click one wrong thing, I'll show you what it sounds like. That one. And then this one. This lever right here on this, this side of the panel. These right here, it doesn't matter where. Anywhere, it will just do the same thing. And then you want to come over here, and you had to do this lever first, flight lever, and then this one. 
and you can see I won't be flying right now. It doesn't matter if this was already up or already down. And then you want to click this right here, and finally this one. Now it'll start spinning just like you're right about to fly. You'll see a little time rotor moving right there. And that's because you're actually going invisible. Now it won't actually let you outside because if you would go outside, you wouldn't be able to get back in. <laughs> Um, you can fix that with locking doors during teleport admin only. If you check that one off, then you will be able to go outside. You'll see these will be on. If you want to come back out of the vortex, all you have to do is click this lever again. And you'll see it starts coming straight back. <clears throat> Just like that. Should be back by now. Yep. Well, really close. Just wait. Yeah, well, it's coming back. I don't know why it's actually... We're still invisible. We might still be invisible, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry. <laughs> we were still invisible. Okay, but yeah, just like that, it would come back straight there. So, um, this button, which would, is long, um, TARDIS long flight mode enabled, we'll be getting to that soon, but after a few more. So, um, right here, you have the power button. Whole TARDIS sh shuts off, like, if I click won't do anything. Nothing works until I click this again and it turns everything straight back on. So um, if you see at the bottom left, it was actually say ingenuity 94%. So that means if you would shoot the TARDIS or get any kind of damage on it, it's like it's at 86 right now, you can just click this right here and it'll actually shut down. You can go outside and it would actually heal it. The more it's hurt, the longer it takes. But you can see had to wait for a little bit. It'll make that noise and you can go back inside. And you can see that ingenuity is at 100. Now, if you, sh um, this might be kind of loud, but if you go down to, um, I believe it's 30. Let me get a different gun. Sorry about that. Should be really close here. Oh, let me see. Yeah, it's 20. Okay, so um, one below 20, which would be 19, is it start having red. It'll start be making some noises. This whole panel would turn red. You can see it has a red glare everywhere. And it starts making the TARDIS, like the boom, boom, like the noise to it. Now, if you get it below 10, it's really going to start getting messed up. A lot of noises. No colors change, though. Now, if you get it all the way down, one below zero, it just completely shuts off, so you can't do anything. Oh, sorry about that. So, um, if you would try, you can see, well, um, yeah, the chart is completely yellow, and it's, like, just burning. But um, if you would try to fly, um, you're just going to start going straight up. I don't want to go straight up, though. It will start going crazy. Turn it off. It's just going to go straight back down. Yeah. And then, so let's repair it here. So if you click this, all noises shut off. And it's going to just get completely all commits at an exit. So you do have to exit for it to heal. And it's going to take a little while here. So just wait for this to be broken right here. I mean to heal. Let's get it, let's see, I just want to get it back on the platform so it's not in the water. There we go. Get my sonic screwdriver back out again. I said, wait, see, the longer it's hurt, the longer it takes to get back up. You'll see it's done in 21 seconds, so we'll just come back when that's finished. Okay, guys, we are back, completely healed back up. Go inside, it's back to normal. So guys, um, and yeah, all the controls that you didn't, you can see that these are up and everything. So if you go and try to go in the time vortex, let's say you're doing the whole thing here, everything that you did, let's say you made a mistake. Instead of clicking this, let's say you accidentally click this. It's going to make that big, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's going to make a big noise and it's going to completely reset everything. Turn it off because it turned into flight mode, but it's going to completely reset everything. And then you'll have to do it all over again. So guys, we're going to move on over to here. So if you're in flight mode here, and let's say you're flying, you can see I'm going 
Um, like if I click this, these two blue, they're the same. If I click it, it's going spin mode set to none. Notice on the bottom left, and that means you're just going to be going straight. You're not actually going to be turning. If you click it again, it's going to be spin mode set to, to um, clockwise. I'm going to start going clockwise. You can kind of already tell. Click it again, it's going to be anti clockwise. So we're going anti clockwise. Such so a really cool feature that I really love. Let's fall here. So, um, yeah, this panel is completely done. This one's, except for this one that we still have to go over. But a lot of these things are just little turns and knobs that you can kind of just click. Pretty sure you can click this one. Oops, sorry. Yeah, there you go. It says to be really close to it. But yeah, a bunch of them really do do stuff. So let's go straight over to here. So we are going to go onto this panel. So the had, oh, sorry. It's a little hard to get it. You have to go right, uh, right. Like, right there. Got it. Okay. It's quite hard to do. I would point at the yellow. Back down. I would point at the, the little yellow light if you can. There we go. Got it. So it said at the bottom left, has enabled. That's if someone shoots the TARDIS. It's basically a self-defense mechanism thing. Uh, where am I? Oh, I'm in the TARDIS. Okay. So um, if that means if I would shoot it while that's still on, it's like someone's attacking your TARDIS it's going to start disappearing and it's going to go into the time vortex without with anybody's inside or if they're not inside so uh, you don't really want to mess with that with that too much because you'll just lose your TARDIS so there we go it's back here um yeah it's a sonic screwdriver there we go so um you can also do sonic screwdriver can make like the lock and turn visible from the inside I think you point right up here and it will say lock that's one left and unlock or hold the right one, and right mouse button, sorry, and it'll say no longer visible, and then hold it again and say no longer visible. So that's just a really cool feature that I figured out that you could do. So now we're going to go into the flight mode. So there's two ways to actually fly, teleport places, sorry. Um, if you click on E in the monitor, in any kind of map, I just have a space map, so it's just showing planets, but it's any kind of map. And let's say I want to go to, um, let's say, here. So I just want to go in, um, and I just want to left click wherever that little marker is. Say TARDIS destination set, set, and then push E to get back out of it, and then that's going to set your destination. And then what you want to do is you want to push E on this. So it's another long one for the advanced flight mode. This one. This one. This right here. Basically the same controls as you did for the sorry, a little laggy there basically same controls that you did for the going into the vortex this one here and this one finally and then that's going to start spinning and you're going to start disappearing you can watch the monitor actually see you teleport there and there we go and we teleported right over to the moon and um, I don't know what, oh yeah, you can't get out until the noise stops. There we go. And then we're out into space. <laughs> that will happen with any map. I just you know, happen to use a space map for this tutorial. Okay guys, so the next one that you can actually do for the, um, what's it called? Sorry. Um, the teleporting. So you can actually set, like, custom ones. If you want, like, perfectly detailed, like, spots, you don't just want, like, a rough, spot that's less like if you want it to face a certain way so let me fly over to uh where is earth right here you know what we can just yeah let's go right into here so go into space and we're going to set a coordinates basically so let's say we want to spawn right in here so you just want to place your tardis wherever you want to spawn where it's ever it's at like let's say we want it to face this way we're going to drop it right there so you want to go straight inside the TARDIS. You want to come over to this right here. These buttons here. You want to push E. Um, I already have one here, but you want to do, um, let's see, upload post right here. Oh, wait, I don't think that one. Yeah, new, sorry. You want to click a new right here. Enter your location name. I'm just going to say um, test. Then push OK. And we'll say, do you want to use the current TARDIS position slash angle? That's just, um, you want it to face like a certain way, you just want to push yes with that. 
and then you want to do save data, and then you can exit out of it. So now I can delete Atari, so I can do anything I want. I can literally get out of the game, close out Gary Lines, and get back in. I'm still going to have that coordinates inside the TARDIS. You can see right there, there's test. And if I log out, so let's say I want to go back to where we set it. I want to push test, and I want to push upload post. It's going to say program programmable or sorry programmable um, flight mode activated. Then you want to click this one. And about the same exact thing that you did for all the other flying here, here, this, and this. Just like this one, but this one you had just had to click on this wherever you wanted it and then click this and then do the rest. So you can see that's going to start teleporting there inside the building. You can wait for that to finish up. And we're going to go straight here. Now, let's say that um, I went there and I'm like, oh no, I need to get back super fast. There's Daleks or whatever, or some kind of bad thing that's happening on over there. You just want to click this right here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's kind of hard to do, but you want to click that little silver one. That's the fast return. It's going to go straight back there. Wherever you just teleported from, it's going to go straight back there. See? There we go. It's going to go and like the exact spot or turn that you're doing it from. So right here, that's all that we have for those, the teleporting. Um, these are just some extra little buttons, little, oh, not that one. Um, you can click the phone and it just makes some phone noises. Now right here, I'm not going to do it, but um, you can click E right here and it's going to have like every single little thing that you could ever think of of Doctor Who. And then you'll click it and then you want to push play or you can push stop to stop the um, song and you can do enter custom. I haven't done much of that though, but that's really this is really fun to do. So um, over here, we have this little thing right here. It's hard to get onto it. You just have to get right onto there. It'll say locked and unlock. That's just if you don't start a screwdriver. You can just manually do it from there. Now this one, I'm not entirely sure if it's isomorphic security system. Didn't have any use in single player though, so it's multiplayer. But I'm pretty sure that's um, so if someone comes to your TARDIS, they can't actually use your TARDIS. I'm pretty sure that's what that does. Um, correct me in the comments below if you know what that does. Um, but yeah, that's that one. Um, there is a little cool room down here if you guys want to go down here. It would be really cool if they added on to this. This little room here. Just like that, but I'm pretty sure it's that we have all for this video. I'm just checking to make sure. Oh, this one right here. Long flight mode enabled. That's just... Here, I'll show you guys. Let's see if we want to... Let's just... Say, oh, we want to go here to the moon. Um, and when we click this, we want to click this first. So we want to do long, TARDIS long flight mode enabled. We want to click where we want to go. And then do the same thing as we always do. Before teleporting. Oh, sorry, I clicked the wrong thing. Now if you click stuff like this, it actually does stuff. It doesn't matter what we set it. So all of these. And then we're going to start teleporting there. But this is actually really cool that I love. Um, when we go there, oh, I don't know why the volume cut out, but um, we're going to be like start teleporting there. We're going to go into the time vortex, but we're not actually going to come out of it until we click this again. And then we're actually going to start dematerializing there. It'll just keep on going for on forever. So I really do like that one, though. You can see the screen change. There we go. And then we're back. But yeah, guys, that's all we have for this video. It was a lot of fun making this. It's probably my favorite, basically, G mod that we've ever, uh, I've ever had in Gmod. So it's just, Dr. Hughes is amazing. Um, but that's all we have for this video. So, see you guys. Bye.